Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at PC911. Want to give you a little tip over here uh, with uh, Windows 10. Um, we're having quite a few people coming in with crashes and things like that. Uh, but uh, what I want to let you know here, which I just ran into on this computer, is if you're using a PIN to log in to your, uh, to your Windows, which is your Microsoft account, if you wind up having some type of issue with your computer and you want to boot up in safe mode, uh, which gives you an option to get in if you have some type of uh, uh, maybe conflicts or something with, with drivers and things like that. Um, the PIN uh, login does not work uh, if you're going to use uh, the safe mode, the safe mode uh, entry. So there, I just want to give a heads up. I just ran into that. I wasn't uh, even aware of that myself. So uh, I probably still recommend that you use the... Uh, the generic or the you know the standard email login so you don't wind up getting stuck out of this in this case uh, the customer did some looking through his uh, notes and he did find it but it's very easy to create a password and then wind up six months later using a pin and you get stuck in this situation now you can't get back in your computer and of course there's ways to you know reset that and go online and all that but you know it could just put you into a little bit of a headache uh, really for nothing you know the pin is probably not a big deal just that uh, maybe it's just a four digit it's a little bit easier but uh, tip for the day just stick to the password and avoid those headaches and again just I'm still standing by I wait at least 90 days to update your Windows 10 because we get at least uh, I don't know two th I would say like two three a day at least one or two a day with our Windows 10 issues uh, I got another one here uh, also on another bench also crashed uh, on the Windows 10 uh, update See you next video. Thanks for watching.